Are you caught up on A Mother Before Anything? Well, if you're not, make sure you subscribe to A Mother Before Anything on YouTube so you can catch up on the episodes that you missed. Make sure you turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when we drop and subscribe to us on Spotify and all other podcast apps. Period. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jazzy the Kid, and today is another solo episode. Yes, we kicking it today, y'all. Got some good tea that I want to tell y'all about because it's something I've been talking about that we're gonna be talking about because I said it, and it's true. The facts just have to be proven, and it has been. We're gonna get into that in a second. Shout out to Positivity Alkaline Water when we keep it in positive at all times. This is in your local Walmart. You can go on Positivity or Positive Water, PositivityWater.com to get you some water and shout out to we are lax clothing line you guys where we are wearing relaxed fit clothes i mean like moo's so on and so forth we got the sakis like i got on let the bottom it says a little one two mm -hmm. lax on the side uh -huh. comfortable fitting clothes girl we got the cargo jeans on the way yes you can pre-order yours now cargo jeans two different colors on the way Moves with the scarf to match, hoodies, socks, jumpsuits. I mean, baby, go check it out for yourself. We are lax.com. The link is in the description as well. Um, smooches on the way, the lip glosses. It will be smooches by lax coming soon um, on the site for you guys to purchase for the lip gloss. Okay, very frankly, we love a good gloss. I know that's right. <laughs> but yes, monkeys, how are y'all doing? Please do not be mad at me. I missed a week. I missed a week of not posting because what? Mommy was tired. <laughs> and what do I always tell y'all to prioritize? Going to sleep, going night night, getting that rest. Sometimes it just be a lot going on and you just gotta pause. You gotta take a minute and you gotta get that rest. Mommy has been getting her body together too. So soon this face ain't gonna be that full, friend. It's gonna be carved up a little bit. It's gonna be like, I'm looking like that's a Squidward sculpture um, on SpongeBob when his face was uh, sculptured out or like carved up. That's how I'm looking in there. Mm -hmm. Fit, friend. Cute and fit. Mmm. Sound like some t shirts on the way. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so y'all, make sure y'all prioritize y'all health and y'all sleep um, this week or next week or what, whatever. Just start now. Just start something. Even if it's a small change, which you just increasing your water intake maybe you just add a little sea salt to your water with a little bit of lemon and cucumber in your water to add more hydration so that you're not just drinking plain water and it's just going through your system you just peeing it out you want the water to hydrate you hydrate your cells right so put a little sea salt in your water now maybe some celtic sea salt or some Himalayan, pink himalayan salt just a dash you don't want to actually taste it in your water right so just take a little bit and just flick it right into your water um, some cucumber and some lemon or just lime um, maybe you want to put some apple uh, not apple put some oranges in your water mm -hmm. nice and tasty actually and refreshing a little mint a little orange mm -hmm. and so your water I want you to be hydrated friend that's why anything that I know I'm going to make sure I let you know because I know uh -huh. girl let me tell y'all something let's get into this tea once again y'all Make them drastic changes. I'm going to come back. We're going to talk about that maybe again at the end. But take care of yourself, all right? Let's get into this tea because I've been telling everybody that when you have, when you are in labor, right, you, you know, your body, you want your body to naturally do what it's supposed to do, right? So I'm really pushing the whole, we did an episode and we talked about it before where it was this creepy man that pretty much came up with the idea of women laying on their back when they have babies in the 1800s, right? That was never supposed to be. The natural way or the gravity of your body letting a baby come out naturally is by you being on all fours or in a squatting position like you're about to poop, right? You should not be on your back pushing a baby out. It's putting more pressure on your back and it's doing more harm than good, right? Women do it all the time. People have been doing it for years. But they're screaming to the top of their lungs. They're, they're, 
squeezing and straining to get a baby out when it's supposed to naturally come out anyway because guess what the baby got in there the baby was growing on its own the baby has to come out on its own it's going to eventually come out right so there's a study that was just found i've been telling people they trying to press c-sections c-sections is so common now it's ridiculous it's to a point where first time moms are walking into the hospital and they like Oh, we can just, you know what I mean? We just go, you can go and labor now. They're inducing you. They got the nerve to induce you. And then going to say, you need a C-section. You have that heart rate. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. So I just seen on this, I seen a post and it says, a large new study suggests doctors give black women unneeded C-sections to fill operating rooms. Now y'all know. Oh yeah. Y'all know I was heated when I saw it, right? Instantly ran to the camera, got the mic. It's time to chat. Let me know y'all thoughts about this in the comments. I'm gonna read some of the thoughts, uh, some of the comments that I see that I do agree with. Um, somebody was like, "Doug, they all do. They do all kinds of extras just for the money." Yes, but nobody believes it until they see. Oh, there was a study done on it. Why are you a first-time mother going to a hospital and you're having a C-section for the first time? My first baby was a c-section this is not for every mom once again everybody's story is unique everybody's story is different so it's you know everybody's story is different but for the ones that have now they always try to push this narrative of the baby's heart rate is up and when i came to think about it the more kids i had anybody's heart rate is going to be up because you're getting into a place where you're about to leave out of the womb that you've been in for nine months or ten months yeah, your heart rate is up. Mommy is stressing. When mommy feels something, you feel something. So the baby heart rate probably didn't been up a multitude of times throughout the pregnancy. Right? Mommy be stressing and maybe arguing with somebody while she's pregnant. Maybe she's stressed at work. Your heart rate is probably up there, but it's not being tracked. Because you feel what mommy feels. So I go to the hospital wanting to get the help that I can so I can get this baby out. And you're using me you're using me to and you're making me believe that something is going to go wrong with my baby especially if you're a first time mom you're gonna be like yeah the doctor's right the doctor's saying i'm looking at i'm looking at it on the machine it's saying that my heart rate is up and my baby's heart rate is up and it's it's bad this could be really bad i don't want it to end bad so just go ahead and cut me y'all they using that to get us in them operating rooms and not only that black mom why this is i do not know but there's no reason you should be a first time mom going into the going straight into the surgery room immediately you're not even giving my body a chance to do what it's supposed to do or they'll induce you inducing is pretty much interrupting the natural process of your body doing what it's supposed to do remember if you are in labor right now you're watching this and you are in not labor if you are pregnant right now your accuracy of um, you actually having a baby is not really 100%. So let's say your due date is January 9th. Yeah, that's probably not accurate. You know what I mean? You is really when the baby's ready, honestly. And you may have been a couple days off, even if you knew the exact date. Because me, I knew every date. Okay? Um, but it was like, uh, I lost my train of thought. But it's like every day. Uh, I knew every date, and so you are not necessarily 100% accurate. It's really when the baby is ready, right? So we go into this induction process, or we get induced, and then, oh, well, it's not working. The baby's not coming out. It's taking too long. It's next thing you know, it's 24 hours later, and you ain't had the baby. Now let's go ahead and take you to the back and just cut you open. That's the way we get the baby out easier. Do y'all understand that when you have going to surgery, that is surgery? And at the hospital, that means it's more money that you're paying or your insurance is paying. Do y'all understand that? Do y'all understand money is the root of all evil? Do y'all understand that it's a business? Medicine, hospitals, it's all a business. Now, don't get me wrong. There are things that we cannot do. There are midwives and doulas that can help you have your baby at home, of course. But when it comes to certain things, hospitals are needed. Doctors are needed. But it's to the point where the system is tweaking and using certain things for their benefit so that they can get more money, more cash, right? You going into the hospital, having your baby natural doesn't give them as much money as they would like. 
I'm not 100% sure on the intent and why, but money is always going to be the answer. Like, my answer is money. And black women, I don't know why. Why we're the target? Interesting. I don't know. Somebody said, I need to be eligible for compensation because I had three C-sections. Same. Sis, same. Um, somebody said, this is exactly why one of the reasons why I want to be a labor and delivery nurse. We definitely need more black women in the field. Because, But even then, I've, I've had a friend that just recently had a baby. And she was saying it was a black woman in the hospital that was giving her a hard time. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't, what you know what I mean? So... That, the race ain't got nothing to do with it when it comes to that. I just, I know that we're being, the race, it matters when we're being targeted. Why though? The point of this is, I want y'all to understand that you can have your baby naturally. Your body is naturally going to force that baby out. And according to the doctors, it will become too long. Like for me, once again, if you have not heard my story, I'm going to sum it up quick, but I was supposed to go in my third baby with Chosen. I was supposed to be at the doctor's office at 39 weeks, September 18, 2023. I was supposed to be there getting um, my C-section. It was already, it was already like scheduled or whatever, but I was not comfortable with the doctor I had for months. I just didn't know how to say, hey, I don't want you to be my doctor no more. I don't feel comfortable with you. You're rushing me. I come all the way to these appointments for five minutes. And you're not personable. You're not friendly. You're just you're just bringing me in here. I don't want to be here. And I'm telling you what I desire. I desire a VBAC. And yes, I've had two previous V-sections. But I still would like to try natural. Let me at least try. It won't hurt to try. Shorty wasn't going. She pretty much was trying to force the fact that that's that's too much. That, that it's, it's, it's risky. Now, were you saying that because you care? Or are you saying that because you don't have time to deal with me trying naturally the way I want? So I had to get reminded. Shout out to my doula, uh, Akila. Her information is in the bottom if you're looking for a doula. It's in the description on YouTube. But what, 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 what I have to keep remembering is these people work for me. They're helping me get my baby out. They work for me. I don't listen. I don't have to listen to them. I can do whatever I want to do with my body. So that day came. Nine in the morning was there. They called me like, you're supposed to be here at your seat. And I said, no, I'm not. I ain't coming. You ain't got to worry about me. <laughs> it was like, well, how are you going to have the baby? Don't even worry about it. I'll figure it out. Baby, I mean, weeks. I mean, like days of me calling different hospitals and different uh, hospitals and different uh, doctors and whatever, just getting turned around. They saying, oh, you too far along. No, can't take you. We don't have enough room and blah, blah, blah. Until one day. I called a hospital in the middle of the night and and the lady, the nurse that answered the phone, oh, I wish I remember her name. She was so sweet. I might have wrote it down. She is so sweet. Um, I think she was at an Emory location or something like that and she recommended a doctor to me and I was like, thank you. Like, I cried after that call because I'm just like, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for referring me because she was basically like, no, I don't think we can do that. We don't have anybody. Y'all, she called me back like right minutes later. And told me, oh, I got doctors such and such that could possibly take you at, at this location. And I'm like, y'all, hope. I had hope. Oh, my God, I was crying. I was like, thank you so, so much. Like, I just, y'all. But I was fighting. And I had faith, like, that God would do that for me. You know what I'm saying? I wrote it down. I was writing it down, like, God, I know that I can have this baby naturally. My body can do this. And... I just kept trying, y'all. The faith was insane. Like, I just kept trying, kept trying, kept trying. And then I eventually got to one, got to those doctors, and they ended up delivering me. Um, or they ended up letting me try. I'm, I had to just sum it up. They ended up letting me try what I wanted to do. I was so happy. They were so gentle with me. They were so nice. They were understanding. They knew that I wanted to try to have this baby naturally. And I progressed longer than I ever have in the process with any of my other children. Uh, I mean, it got to 24 hours again. And um, I was trying the balloon method on my uterus. And um, it, I was opening up, y'all. I think I got to six centimeters. But I always get to six centimeters. Um, but I got to six centimeters. But honestly, I think 
they only recommended the C-section because I was getting tired of being in labor. I was wore out, baby. I was like, what did I just ask for? Because these cramps, baby, I can't do it. I'm trying to be natural. I don't know what I'm asking for. Baby, I said, bring that med. Go ahead. Just bring that medicine on in here. Bring it in here. <laughs> I brought that. I told them to bring that medicine. They did the medicine. And then I just laid down and I was just hoping for the best. But they ended up recommending a C-section after me getting the medicine in my back. And... I'm saying all that to say that doctor's office, shout out to Emory, was it, what, which was, which location was that? Emory and Johns Creek. I love that hospital. Emory Hospital in Johns Creek in Georgia. Y'all, they were so sweet and patient with me. Like, it just makes me so emotional and it's just, we're full of joy because they allowed me to do what I wanted to do, regardless of the outcome. And yes, I definitely was like, God, why? I wanted to have them natural. I wanted to have them natural. But <laughs> it was not for me because once I posted my experience and my videos and stuff on YouTube, there was a lot of women that said I gave them the courage to talk to their doctors. And that's what it was about. And once again, I'm letting y'all know, again, you have the right. If you're pregnant right now, you and this your first time, just period. You have the right to tell them what it is you want to happen with your body. You have to get informed, of course. Do your research while you're pregnant. Talk to a doula. Get a midwife. Um, there are My doula didn't even, she was in Tennessee. She was not able to come to me physically, but she helped me so much over the phone. Gave me so much stuff to research. I was doing, looking up stuff on my own. I was trying my best because I wanted to have my baby the way I wanted to have my baby. Now, granted, there's a lot of people that do have to um, there are a lot of people that have to get C-sections for many different reasons, but I feel like it's being pushed more than anything now. There's no other natural options. There's no other options aside from that. And that's the problem. A large new study says that it was, it suggests doctors give black women unneeded C-sections to fill operating rooms. It's starting to make sense. I kept, I keep having these people I meet. Oh, I'm pregnant girl. Who I hope I don't. Ooh, I'm so scared, girl. And who I this and who I that. Well, yeah, my doctor said she's gonna induce me. Why? Why are you getting induced? Why are you getting induced? I went 40, I went up to almost 40, if not 43 weeks, like close to or at 43 weeks. Letting trying to let my body just do what it wanted to do. Things started to happen slow, but and I was having the, the, the contractions and or Braxton Hicks, whatever. Um, my water never broke, but my mucus blood came out, and it just was slow. It seemed like it would have got to 46 weeks after that. <laughs> I was, that's how slow it was, it was. But it's still just like, let your body do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, you went past your due date. That's fine. Maybe your baby will come tomorrow. Let your body do what it's supposed to do. If you get to 43 weeks and ain't nothing happening, then take your tail to the doctor. Don't go to that. Don't 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 force the problem. Don't force the issue. I know you want to see your baby. I know you're tired of being pregnant. I know you're tired. I know it hurts. But let your body do what it's supposed to do. Because if you let them in, um, what is it, invade or let them just kind of just stop the process of what your body's supposed to naturally do, you know what I mean? Then you're gonna have to deal with stuff like this. Oh, isn't it the baby not coming out? Or the heart rate is too is too much on the heart rate. Y'all, here's the thing, y'all. This is what I this is what I realized. They give us epidural, right? Or they'll give us what's the thing they give us to get us to be induced? It's a, it's a, um, what is? It? I can't even think of it. But they give you an induction pill. They induce you with that pill, right? So you can start opening up. And then they'll get, they'll give you epidural if you want it. They know these medicines interrupt the body doing what it's supposed to do. They know that these medicines cause your heart rate and baby's heart rate to go up and down. They know when they give you this induction pill, what it's going to do to make you be like, oh, well, the baby's heart rate is up. Now we got to take you back to the C-section room. Interesting. Why don't you just not give me that? How about you not induce me at all? Unless it's literally an emergency and you're not lying about it. 
but they're gonna lie about the emergencies y'all it's just so much you have to research because i know it'd be hard to listen to somebody like me or internet or people other people's experiences and stuff like that for you to be like well this is my first time having a baby and i want i want i know the doctors are experts y'all not but you know if you got to see the pattern they're trying to get us in those operating rooms so they can take the money and just be able to cut you up and be done with you. Baby, that's a long-term issue, though. My back still hurts to this day. Most of it be gas. <laughs> Pause. Bookmark it. I was at the gym yesterday and I was on a row machine just rowing right and I'm like Jesus my back is hurting man I'm just upset I'm like God wow I gotta have back pain this stuff from this c-section stuff this epidural messing up my back I can't have like and my back is just hurting so bad with this workout baby I just started farting and I just was like this it probably ain't got nothing to do with epidural baby it's just gas back up poop trying to come out I'm detoxing because I'm eating right. <laughs> but for real, like, I do still deal with, like, um, I still deal with back pain. Like, I could just be washing dishes or when I brush my teeth and my sink. My sink is very low. Like, my kitchen sink and my bathroom sink is low. So, um, and I'm sure you would think it would be cool, but I still have to lean down. I don't even know how my husband's back going to be hurting, but I think certain positions like make my back still hurt from having epidural um and getting the epidural and i it's like i gotta strengthen it by doing certain workouts or certain mobility training to train my back to get back to normal it hurts so bad it's excruciating it feel like you're in labor sometimes um i kind of feel a little bit a little tweak in my back now just talking about it like it, it, it you know what i mean those are long-term issues that you got to deal with c-section stuff could trigger back problems right I can't believe this, y'all. Like, I'm trying to see what people, other people saying. Um, what is an unnecessary C-section? These women were given the option, and they chose that. They choose that for themselves. Not every woman chooses that, though. Some women just don't know no better because they don't have nobody else to help them. Some women do not know that they're not. They don't have to have a C-section. They don't know that they could just keep trying. I wonder, has any woman? And please let me know if you're watching this or you listen to this or you know somebody that have that just kept going when they said um we have to take you to the c-section because to uh, take you to the do the c-section because it's taking too long um and the baby's heart rate is up and it can be dangerous i wonder has anybody said it's cool i'll keep going i wonder has anybody ever did that interesting because and i want to know what the turnout was because i guarantee they just it's just a scare tactic to get us in that room I'm pretty sure the baby will be okay. I'm pretty sure you will be okay. But they'll scare you like you're going to die or the baby. No, I think it's important. Like his heart rate, that his heart rate is really up and, and, and it's not going down. It, it's not looking good. We want to get you in that room and hurry up and get him out because honestly, and even if you're a nurse or you're a doctor or you're a nurse assistant and you, you, you're informed about this, please share. Tell us something. Tell me if you think I'm wrong or if I'm whatever share like do not be afraid to comment i this is open we're having a conversation um and we want people to be informed mothers to know that they have the right to do what they want with their bodies but we want everybody to be informed about the truth as well um and not just be trying to get taken advantage of just to be a number just to be looked at as a number like you know what i'm saying like we want these doctors to care about you these people that have you in their care they're opening you up for pete's sake like goodness gracious um a woman said i couldn't push my son out and told the delivery lady just to give me a c-section she was an african lady she told me no you're gonna push i was like what i have a choice wow see she was like i was like what i have a choice she was like um wait i was like what i have a choice she said push i pushed and he had to get sucked out with the vacuum <laughs> i think i did too they used clamps for me out of my mom <laughs> Uh, she made sure I didn't get the C-section. Wow, I love that. See what I mean? Honest, pure people that's going to help. Oh, my gosh. Wow, I love that. Shout out to that lady. 
Oh my gosh, she fought for you. We don't have too many people doing that. So, um, have a, having a C-section puts more money in their pockets, which is why they push for them. But we knew this already. That's what I'm saying, but there's people that don't. So, so I said, sure do, but let's not shame the women that had C-sections either. Some had no choice, like me. One twin was head down and the other was tra transverse. I'm not sure what transverse is. If somebody can enlighten me. I mean, I'm probably going to look it up after this, but still, enlighten the people in the comments. Um, they said they could possibly turn him around before he may turn again. Meaning, I would, I would have to be cut both ways from a vaginal birth with one and plus possibly a C-section with the other. I choose not to risk it. I have my scar, but my babies are happy and healthy. God bless all the mothers. It's not easy. Woo! Mommies. Woo! We go through some things, don't we? In the body. My God, our bodies go through a lot. Wow. She said it was a possibility she was going to have to do both. That's double the work. Jesus, what, what do them people be doing? Them, them, them people that be having quadruplets and, and cinquentalas, cinquentalablets, and sesentablets, and setentas, and ochentas blitz. What they be doing? <laughs> what do they be doing? They be pushing all them eight babies out? Goodness gracious. Mommies, oh, you guys are super women. Oh. I believe it. I pushed for 30 minutes to have my baby. 15 minutes and the doctor said he'd have to give me C-section. Dang. Dang. 15 minutes, huh? I believe I pushed for 30 minutes to have my baby. 15 minutes in the end, the doctor said he had to give me a C-section if I couldn't push. My very Caucasian employer told me she pushed for three hours and nobody said a word about a C-section to her. See? I really want to know the reason then. I, I'm going to stop it there. I, I'm going to stop it there. Because that just frustrated me really bad. I don't really hear too many women getting the white women getting C-sections, and I don't mean to play the race car car because I don't like that. But simply, this is what this topic is about. I don't hear about too many. I also don't talk to a lot of them. I have friends, but they they push them out. I don't hear about them getting C-sections. Why us? What do y'all think is the reason that we're targeted to have these C-sections? Very interesting topic, very interesting question. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really frustrated, y'all. Because <laughs> our skin color is just causing a lot of nonsense for no reason, you know. And then being a black woman, it's already hard when you're trying to have a baby anyways. They like they target us in every way in the hospitals. Not everybody, because obviously we just heard that there was a woman that told that, that black lady. She said, girl, you finna push. I don't care what you're talking about. You for the push. Right? Why are we targeting to go in the operating room? Why us? What's the reason? Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that. Um, give me, if please, feel free. If you have any, um, if you have any tips that you can give to other mothers in the comments, um, we will make sure we read those. Any tips, any other information that I may have not discussed, anything that you do know on your end, if you're a nurse or a doctor, Feel free to comment. Um, mommy's tell us about your experience in the comments. You know what I mean? We want to make sure, once again, remember that this is a safe space for us to come together and to discuss these things together and find solutions. It's just a safe space. And I want everyone to feel safe. And I don't want nobody to feel like they can't comment or they can't say their bees or even if they disagree with me. Please, talk. That's what it's for. Um, and on that note, Mommy's, that, that's it for us today think about that topic and if you are a, you're about to get ready to have a baby um do a lot of research if you really if you really care about having your baby the natural way not being interrupted um look into that look into a, the doula that i have listed in my description look into a, a midwife someone who can actually you know a doula it gives you a lot of information on things and they can help you deliver the baby but midwives also do all of that and above. They kind of are like doctors. I would say doulas are like the nurse. Midwife is like the doctor. But, you know, they both kind of do the same thing. Midwife just probably do a little bit more. But consider that. Um, and see who's in your area. And even just let your family know what to do. Inform your husband or 
and inform your mom, inform someone that you trust that will help you. If you can just have your baby at home in the tub, I guarantee they weren't doing <laughs> what all the stuff that's being done today. I guarantee you. And the babies was just coming out. Whenever you had your baby, you had your baby. It wasn't, wasn't no counting how many weeks you was. I'm pregnant. That's it. And when this baby come out, that's just when the baby come in. <laughs> that's it. And we gonna mark the date. That's their birthday. Okay? But I love y'all. And I appreciate y'all. And make sure you guys subscribe. And like, comment, and share. And I'm gonna catch y'all on the very next episode.